So let's talk about sunscreens. Well, there are two types of rays, UVA rays and UVB rays, that we need to protect our skin from. UVA rays are the deepest penetrating rays and they damage our collagen and cause wrinkling. UVB rays, on the other hand, they're more superficial, but they cause burning of the skin. Now, the protection factor number that you will see on your sunscreens relates only to the UVB rays protection. So therefore, it just really calculates the length of time you can stay in the sun without burning. For example, if you can stay in the sun for 10 minutes without burning, therefore a factor 30 would allow you to stay 300 minutes in the sun, which is five hours, without reapplying that sunscreen. So let's take a closer look at the differences. So there are two different types of sunscreen on the market. There is the physical sunscreens and you have the chemical sunscreens. The physical sunscreens, they act like a mirror. They reflect the light off the skin. And there are only two ingredients that will be classified as physical sunscreens, and that is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. All the other ingredients will be classified as chemical-based sunscreens. The advantage of the physical sunscreen is it will give you both UVA and UVB protection. So that will be known as a broad spectrum sunblock. Whereas the chemical sunscreens typically only give you UVB protection. It may have a small amount of UVA, but typically it would be a lower amount of UVA protection than you would have in the physical sunscreens. They would have a much higher level of UVA protection. Because the physical sunscreens typically have less chemicals, they are less irritating. So they're a far better choice for rosaceous skin types or anyone with dermatitis. Whereas your chemical based sunscreens can be more irritating but if you do a patch test and your skin can tolerate it, there's no reason why you can't use it. Now the physical sunscreens, they work immediately on contact with the skin because they act like a mirror and they start reflecting light straight away. Whereas the chemical based sunscreens, they can take about 15 minutes to absorb into the skin fully for them to be working in the sun. The drawback of the physical sunscreen is that uh, they're typically more expensive. You'll find them in your skincare clinics. Um, but what a lot of people tend to do is they would use the physical sunscreen for their face and neck and they would use the chemical based sunscreens for their body for their sun holidays. Now both the physical and the chemical sunscreens both of them will require about a teaspoon five grams application for the face neck and ears and you would need to apply them twice daily. So that sums up your chemical versus your physical sunscreens. When comparing sun protection factor numbers against the level of skin protection it gives you. This relates only to UVB rays, the rays that burns the skin. It doesn't relate to the UVA aging rays. So let's take a quick look. SPF factor 15 gives you 93% skin protection. Double that to factor 30, it'll leave you 97% protection, which is only 4% more. Double factor 30 up to factor 60, and you're only getting 1% greater protection at 98%. Yet a factor 60 will have double the amount of chemicals as factor 30. So therefore, better choice would be to go for the factor 30 with less chemicals than the factor 60. Now my favorite sunscreen is the Illumier sunscreen. It's SPF 40. This here is a broad spectrum sunblock. It give, gives me both UVA and UVB protection. So it's anti-aging as well as anti-burning. What I particularly like about this, the fact that it's matte and oil-free, it won't block my pores. But in particular, I love the fact that it's tinted. There's three different shades that this comes in and I love the medium shade known as sand. It's a lovely warm, dewy finish that it gives my skin. So it's my makeup and my uh, sunscreen all rolled into one. However, don't rely on a sunscreen alone to give you protection. If you're out in the midday sun or outside on a sunny day, wear a hat to protect your face as well.